I just woke up and I see that I have accomplished a new milestone. I am currently at 7,100 videos uploaded on YouTube. So hip, hip, hooray <laughs> for the eight father. Getting closer each and every day to the goal. Either 1 million uh, videos uploaded by December 21st, 2022, or 100 million views. And I'm actually very close. I'm getting closer to 5 million views. Um, I think I need another 300,000 uh, views, which uh, I could definitely pull out very easy. I'm not worried about that. So my other channels actually do it pretty good, too. You know, uh, Richie uh, Lavoie. Uh, the Brooklyn song viral video, Richie Lavoy spelled L-E-V-O-I, uh, that The Brooklyn song viral video. You should check out that channel if you haven't already. Um, it's, uh, I think I got something like, I last I checked, I think it was over 600 subscriptions, so I'm very close, you know, to getting monetized on that channel. So things things are, are looking good, you know. I'm, this is my uh, my job. People ask me all the time. They're like, "What do you do for a living?" Listen, I'm I'm fortunate enough that I've worked 20 years in sales. I have residual income coming in. I, I know people think I have no income. I have. You can't have a house. You can't have money for for dinners that I have every single day and paying all your utility bills and paying all your expenses for your family and putting them in summer camps and, <laughs> and maintaining your house. Now you can't do that with no income. You gotta have an income. So I don't know. People just make these assumptions up with me and they, and they run with it. The haters. I have a very respectable uh, monthly income, but let's put all of that aside. The most important thing to me is AMC, Amy, Amy baby. As of right now, the ape father, Made back a lot of money. I, I'm only, I think, eighty five thousand, eighty five thousand down right now, as of as of today. <laughs> you know, that was a, I was one hundred and eighty five thousand down at one point. So <laughs> that's a big difference that I made up. I made up like a hundred k, okay, from lowering my cost average and buy, buying more. And so I mean, everybody's breaking my chops, but I'm very close to e either being even or in the green. I mean. It could even happen as of next week where I could be in the green with AMC. So I am not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. Now, I'll just say this uh, really quick on Teddy Zane. I've always liked Teddy. I've always liked him. I, I've i always had the highest respect for him. You, you, come on. Who, who could deny that I've made hundreds and hundreds of videos? I have where I've complimented Teddy. Hundreds. Where I said, you know, the guy's a great entrepreneur. He's a great trader. You know, he's a, he's a pro bodybuilder. He's very, you know, he's got so much determination in his life to win, to succeed. I've always complimented him. But my only problem with Teddy is that he's knocking AMC. That's my only problem. It's like everyone's like picking on me. Why are you being so mean to Teddy's aid? Because like, look, man, you make money on Meg. Great. Congrats, man. God bless you, man. You make money on other plays. Great. <laughs> I, I'm I'm rooting for Teddy. I want him to make I hope he makes more money than Elon Musk. Seriously. I like him a lot better than Elon. You know what I mean? The thing is, just why knock other people's dreams? See, that's my thing. Like, in other words, look, you if see to me, that's 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 a piece of shit. Like, I'm sorry, you want me to like to level with you? He calls me like a douchebag, he calls me or whatever he calls me, like in the past, the fat father, or whatever it is. Okay. But Teddy, man. Don't you think it's a little messed up? Come on, I'm talking to you from one brother to another brother. That if you're doing well and you're making some cash, right, you're going to raid on other, other people's dreams. You're going to shit on them. You're going to be like, hey, man, you know, Amy's a piece of garbage. AMC's a dying company. AMC's this or whatever. You know, you know the shark, he's got the shark eating the uh, the AMC. So I, I, I understand that. I was breaking balls. I was just trying to get them. So that he put AMC on top. But I understand the caption of what he was trying to do. That AMC was the weakest link. But the thing is, that's where I get mad at the guy. Just don't rain on other people's dreams. People like me put up a lot of money in AMC. This is our dreams. This is our Boaz. And hey, man, we have the right to feel the way we feel. We have the right to dream. And we have the right to strive for our goals. See, that's something I would never do. Like, let me give you an example of what I mean, okay? This is what this guy Dave was another student. Okay, I hope you're listening to me, Dave, because I'm making this video for you. Okay, he's another student who doesn't understand anything. Okay, Dave, 
in Brooklyn, where I grew up, you understand, if we got a score, you understand, we we did something called share the wealth. I don't, okay, like in other words, let's just leave it alone. It doesn't matter what score means. Score, you could interpret what score means in any which way you want. We get a score, we share the wealth. You understand? It's like, remember Goodfellas, the Latanza heist? Remember, what did they do? Henry, here's your, your piece. He was never going to give it to the other guys. The other guys didn't mean anything like Maury with the way <laughs> they had to take Maury out. But but the people who meant, meant things to him, like Henry Hill, you understand? Okay, they, they, you know, Jimmy did the right thing, Robert De Niro. Jimmy gave, gave Henry his cut, you understand? The point is that that's what we do. We get a score, we share the wealth. It's another thing about Teddy I don't understand is that he's making money, right? Why is he accepting Super Chats? Why is he accepting a dollar? He, he accepted a dollar from me. I, want, I I did it as a joke. You want to know why people ask me, what, hey, Father, why did you send Teddy? Because I actually wanted to see if he was going to accept it. He was, a, he was supposed to be a joke. I sent him a dollar. I was thinking he was going to send to me, hey, Father, keep your dollar. I'm okay. I don't need your dollar. No, he took the dollar. He took the dollar. Then as another joke, I sent him $2 more and he kept that one. I mean, I wonder if I could send him a penny. I don't know how low I could go with the Super Chats. If I send a penny, maybe he'll accept it. So that's just the things I don't understand about Teddy. He's a good guy. I like his personality. Nothing against him. I wish him all the best of health, happiness, and success for him and his family. I hope he makes a fortune next week on, on Meg Meglendon, M-E-G-L. I hope he, he continues to make money on more and more plays. I wish him nothing but the best. But don't shit and rain on other people's parades. I want to get, is it okay with you, Teddy, if I can get my other 85000 back? Is that all right with you? Is it all right with you if I can go into the green and I can start making money? Okay? Don't rain. Don't shit on other people's parades. And, and as far as that you're making all this money, you're like a big shot. You had to be a big shot teacher. You had to open up your mouth. I got to do big shot later today, dedicated to Teddy Zane. Because he's acting like a big shot. He's like, he's like the king of retail now. He's like, oh, I'm calling everything right. I'm the man. I'm the big shot, baby. But then if you're the big shot, why are you accepting a dollar donation for me, brother? Why are you accepting a $2 donation for me? Why are you accepting $5 from other people? Bro, that's just crazy.